Trish, I love a good upside down cake, especially if it has chocolate in it. Me too. <laughs> it's sort of a blast from the past, isn't it? But it it's is. a lot of yeah. fun mm -hmm. and dead easy to make. Great. Right, so I've got a couple of quick things that I need to do. Mm -hmm. If you could sift the flowers together with the cinnamon, that would sure. be great. What flowers have we got here? We've got some self-raising and some plain flour. Even amounts? Uh, yeah. Into the uh, saucepan I need to put some white chocolate mills. And to that I need to add some Philadelphia, 125 grams. And I've got some butter mm -hmm. as well. So these are all going in together. Some caster sugar. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to turn that on up the front and move it. Sure. And some milk as well. And did you say put the cinnamon in at this stage yes, to sift please. it? Yeah, just to sift it. And some vanilla. I like a lot Ooh. of vanilla. I already like this combination. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is coming along. Mm -hmm. So we've got to wait for those two uh, ingredients to melt down and become smooth. You could actually cut the apples up. Mm -hmm. Two Granny Smith, and how would you like them cut? Into quarters and uh, in just into slices would be great. Thin slices. So quarters and then call them. And we're using apples today, but I'm sure you could use many different types of fruit. A bit of a pineapple upside down cake never goes Why astray. Not? Pineapple white chocolate. Oh, no, Love each good. other also. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's a good combo. So anything in season would be fantastic. Even some strawberries. Yeah, nice why not? Raspberries. And just, this is going to be the tin. It's a nice big sort of picnic sized tin for this. Mm -hmm. It's not a really deep cake. Um, sometimes I think, you know, something sort of more slice-like is nice. Mm -hmm. You can cut an Nice square of that and put it onto a plate, which is great. The other thing is these often travel really well, these types of cakes, which I think is a bonus. Yeah, so a, a little idea. cake like this is perfect. And I'm going to pour this warm mixture into the bowl. That will just help it cool down a little. Mm -hmm. And we're going to mix the rest of the cake in this once it's cooled down a little. It doesn't have to be stone cold, mm -hmm. but you, it's just Room better for yeah. mm. All right, well, I'll put that bit. over here. Mm -hmm. And Perfect. the apples are done. All right, well, while we're waiting for that, I yes. think we should start the cake. Mm -hmm. So we need to put the uh, some flaked almonds, some beautiful toasted mm. flaked almonds over the base. I love flaked almonds. Me too, that's why I'm going to Anything taste. toasted in the nut mm. range is beautiful, if you yep. ask me. Mm -hmm. And then, I might need another pair of hands here, Just Yes, I will help. Um, I think it might be nice if we go one way and then a centre row that goes like that the other way mm -hmm. and then back that way. Ah, because don't forget, we're going to see this when it's Yeah, because it's upside around. down. It's upside down, exactly. yep. So take your time doing this and you've got time anyway because we've got to wait for this to cool. That's right. Looks. Very happy with that. Okay, I'm going to just put some brown sugar over the top. Could you put the eggs and the flour into that cooled mixture, please? Just crack them in and give them a bit of a whisk and then we can just fold through the flour. Mm -hmm. so, two eggs. So I'll break those yolks and then... Oh, it's thickened up nicely, this. Yeah, it does. It's that uh, Philadelphia cheese. That looks great. Thank you. How's about I pour in these dry ingredients for Yes, please. You? There we go. So that's the two Ooh. flours and little cinnamon. Okay, and just gently mixing it in. Um, and we put two different types of flour in there. Having half and half helps to give the lift we want without it being too overly risen. Yeah. All right, I'll take that whisk out. And you're right, it is quite a firm batter. Yeah, it is. Boy, just... it smells nice with that cinnamon. Well, cinnamon and apple's perfect I together know. too, isn't it? Yum. And just dollop it in a few places so yep. we get a nice even amount. And how long are we cooking this in the oven? Uh, around 40 to 45 minutes in a moderately slow oven, around 160 degrees. Great. Well, Trish, this has come out of the oven. We've allowed it to cool completely so we can flip it. And I love how you're just getting straight in there. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, good old baking paper. Makes life so much easier. It certainly <laughs> does. And there you have yeah. it. Nice and sticky on top. Oh, this is my favourite part right here, that corner bit. <laughs> that corner. Which has got a little bit of toffee on the top Yum. because of the brown sugar that we used in there. How about a slice, huh? Never say no to a no. slice of cake. <laughs> I'm going to give you your very favourite piece too. Okay. Lucky old you. I am very lucky. You always look after me. There you go. All right, and I better get a, 
a dollop of cream for you. There you go. And a little bit of white chocolate to finish off. Oh, stop it. Yum, hey? <laughs> One fork for you. Thank you. Fork for me. Ready. Dig in. Cream white chocolate. Ah, <laughs> oh, Trishy. You've done it again. Mm. It's one of those cakes where you must have a second piece. Mm. It's a must. <laughs>